What is it about this place that people want to be here even when we don't even have snow? Well, you must know, Dave. Oh, it's great. You know, we all <laughs> like to hike, mountain bike, and uh, kayak. Uh, uh, you know, it's just a ton, we play golf, a ton of stuff. To and do hang here, out so. with other people who feel exactly and, the same exactly, way. Exactly. You know, it's, a, yeah. it's great, you know, and there's been a you know, whole new vibe in the, in the, in the valley. And, you know, mountain biking attributes a lot to it, but the golf course does too and everything else. So yeah. It's all a package. It's all a package. It's right? all a package. Yeah. So yeah. let's tackle the next subject on your list there. Uh, Where are we going trail next? Trail development. How's that? Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, you know, obviously the, the one that, the, the program that seems to get the most recognition and it's really come along ways is the mountain bike trail program development program um, that program is a collaboration between the town Sugarloaf Maine Hudson Trails and the club and uh, it, it, there's a committee um, that kind of oversees the whole or makes recommendations for trail development and maintenance there's a maintenance committee there's a long-range plan committee there you know so it's and there's we got to do something with signage we know that there's a signage committee so there's an awful lot to this there really is you know we've been spending i think through the first six years of the program we spent over half a million dollars right. i mean and and it shows it shows you yeah. see a lot of mountain bikes in the community yeah. all summer long throughout the uh, fall season so it's Pretty cool stuff. And this is and, all within the last 10 years. It's well, gone from in the a last roots, really seven you know? years. You yeah. Know? yeah, we're in our seventh year in the trail development program. And kudos to the club. Peter Smith and those folks have done an awesome job with the club. Uh, they've grown the club. Uh, the club has been a huge partner in this. Um, Main Hudson Trails and Sugar Loaf has stepped up. Um, just great. You know, it really is. And uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot you don't yeah. see, but uh, and the, and Josh and, and it's you know, ongoing. You don't just build ongoing. a trail no. and then step away. It's not no. that easy Tomorrow either. Morning, Josh yeah. and his crew will be out there, and he's done a great job, you know, with uh, with uh, Spence and his crew and uh, Sterling, and uh, you know they, they they've become real professionals, yeah. They're real professional trail builders, yeah. you know. So it, there's a whole lot to this program, and uh, but it's been pretty exciting. Uh, we also work a lot with uh, the ATV club. I, I, they keep going, you know, uh, Neil Trask and John McCathan, they, they're getting up there. <laughs> but they, they, they've done a great job with the, with the trails. And, and like that, the Energizer President, they just amazing, keep on going. You know, they really, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, you know, they ain't getting any younger, you know. And, uh, and we work, you know, try to work closely with the Snowmobile Club. We've got some uh, bridge repair work to do over the recreational bridge. We'll work with them on that project, and they do a great job. You know, There's such a good work. complex north of us. It's great if we can <laughs> right. do what we can here to tie it all in, because goodness knows those people spend money too, so, you know. No, it's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know down at, uh, I think he gets a lot of business from them down at the, uh, down at the... Uh, at IOTS. At IOTS, and, and then... Uh, at the uh, at the bowling alley at Sugar Bowl. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, of mean, course, they, yeah. Yeah, they've done pretty well there, and that having that trailhead there has been. Pretty and he's cool. showing where they were doing that work up by the power line there. Yeah, a those years guys, ago. I'm telling you, they <laughs> you know, they've, they've done a really good job, and you know, they it's well managed now. It's really well organized yeah. and managed, so they've done a great job. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, we're working, uh, like I said, we we out, continue to do forest management at the outdoor at the outdoor center. 2,100 acres, and that's a multi-use, uh, you know, along with all the trails. Um, and, you know, we work closely. We have a committee that works with that, with American Forest Management. They do an awesome Is that job. wrapped up for the season, or is that no, we're still at almost. we got a little, maybe three more weeks, I think, and they'll be finished this year. And we've got a, th we're, in, in the, we're in the beginnings of a three-year plan. Uh, we built a, a, what's going to be a, a wood yard right now across uh, on, the, on the outdoor center access road across from the adaptive outdoor education center that'll be used next year and then next fall that'll become an extra parking lot for those folks and for the outdoor center so it's all kind of planned together perfect which is important we try to you know coordinate the the wood harvesting plan with all the trail development programs and so there's a lot of coordination going on great uh, yeah we built a little dock fishing dock that we work with CVOA on in terms of we stock the pond every year it doesn't get a lot of use but starting to pick up a at little the outdoor bit. center yeah yeah um, the most scenic spot in the valley, a lot of people think. Yeah. It's a gorgeous yeah. place. We, so that's nice. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, no, I hadn't seen that yet. Crazy. I thought you it was know, just some little, like, yeah, you know, a couple you know, wooden planks a, out there. It's another activity to do oh, in the summertime up here. So, nice. Uh, nice. And I, 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 I ride by my mountain bike and to check this little uh, response uh, card box there and check it out. People do catch fish there. So I, believe it or not, have not gotten out there this summer, and I do like to fly fish. I don't do enough of it, but... That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got this little interesting um, history project committee going on. 
Uh, yeah, and uh, Gene Luce, um, uh, wonderful lady. I think you all know her, uh, Bob Luce's mom, and but she's pretty. She's a dynamo in her own right, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so she has started this committee uh, to uh, look into a project to look into the history of Carabasset Valley. So that's something that's going that's going on now. Huh. Good. Had a, had a meeting again last week. Uh, I don't know if I gave you a couple pictures. There they are. Look at this right here. You see this little picture right here? Oh. This is back uh, in the railroad days. Uh, I think this is 1894, but I stand to be correct. Is that a big old station? No, that is, uh, that's the Carabasset Station uh, from the Kingfield and Dead River Railroad. So where would that have been located? Down in the valley? close to your house. <laughs> Down in the really? Valley. We don't know exactly. Uh, wow. Yeah, very wow. cool, isn't it? And uh, there's a lot. Uh, there's another picture there. The, the, there were a lot of um, <clears throat> logging activity back in the early days, oh. and uh, uh, so we're trying. This committee is is looking at all of these, and it's going to take time. This is a several year project, oh. but um, who's got these photos? Where'd they come well, from? Well, and I do want to comment on that. Uh, we I I took a trip over to the Phillips Historical uh -huh. Historic Society. Uh -huh. If you never bet, that's a pretty, that's uh -huh. in a house over there, uh -huh. a pretty cool place. Uh -huh. They a couple days a week and go in for a couple hours. The stuff they got in there is pretty amazing. The wow. Revolution, uh, the, the, the Civil War, uh -huh. all kinds of really cool stuff in there. And we're not collecting artifacts right now. We need to yeah, say yeah, that yeah, because yeah, this yeah. is just right now. We're yeah. just. It's, we're I letting, cannot ski up and down the gauge, whether it's the south of my house yeah. or north of my house, without thinking of the train going up oh, yeah. through there. Yeah. I just can't do yeah. it, and it just blows my mind to think how. I, yeah, yeah, we're all the way to big Those old, people wouldn't be able to think of what it's like here now. <laughs> that's for dying sure, but no, it's just we're all it's pretty cool, isn't station. it? So there's a committee working yeah. on that, and that's pretty cool oh, stuff. Neat. So. A couple of other quick things we don't know exactly. This is a Sugarloaf project, the Caribou Pond uh, Dam project, and I think right. you probably had Kyle in here talking about it, uh, Kyle Strand, and it's a Sugarloaf project. Is there, a, is there a place for the town to participate in this project remains to be seen. I know our Board of Selectmen uh, very much wants to help in any way. we got moral support at any rate, don't we? Yeah, yeah. we're actually spending some time at it, trying to, we're helping them with some county TIF money and some other things that, cool. uh, to kind of help them along with this project. But it's their project, yeah. in, and is there an appropriate role for the town? And that's what we that's what we And we all want to see it happen. We all want to see it happen, so we, are, we have to try to figure that yeah. out. So those are some of the things that are going on. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I do want to... Geez, I'm so sorry you don't have anything to do, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, uh, the, uh, the Sugarloaf uh, Explorer Program will be in, uh, in uh, session again this year, uh, this year, providing transportation. Got a new director, uh, Bill Eckie is a new director. Um, same, same contact information. I think this is the eighth year of that program that we've got this uh, uh, collaboration, really, between the town, Sugarloaf, uh, who both kick in money, um, the state, and then Western Maine Transportation. So yeah. it's a great program, and I uh, hope folks take it. We've got a few minor changes to it. We're actually putting more assets into the daytime program and less at night based on usage trends. Yeah. Yeah. And we need, at 8 o'clock in the morning, we need all, you know, <clears throat> all hands on deck. And, right. and so that's kind of what we're doing. Right. But, yeah, you can check that schedule, and, uh, yeah. All good. Lots all right. going on. Yep. Wow, thanks so much for coming in. Y'all know, appreciate it.